Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Case, good to see you as always, my man. Pleasure. Thanks for giving IFL TV a little bit of your time. Um, yeah, how's things today? Yeah, all good. Uh, thank you, IFL, for having me again. I appreciate that. Thank you. I always, always make time for our oh boy. Um, right, before we talk about April the 26th and kind of the get back and the route you want to take to world titles, um, let's cover that night at York Hall against Jackson Chalk. Now you've had time to kind of process the whole thing. Um, how do you look back on that week, that night, the event and the fight? Um, you know, I, I look at it as a, an experience, uh, an experience and a, a, learning, a learning day, I guess. Um, you know, it was a world title shot. It was a very, very big event for me. Um, it was one of my biggest opportunity. And, um, you know, we fought a guy that was very, I guess, very avoidable. I mean, he was very avoidable. Uh, um, a lot of boxers was avoiding him. So we gave him an opportunity and uh, he showed up. He showed what he's all about. And um, we took nothing but a lot of lesson from that fight. Yeah, in terms of a defeat, how long does it take to kind of process it? A week, a couple of weeks? Or? Uh, it took me yeah, a few I think a month, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's hard because uh, I, I trained so hard. I put so much work into that fight. Uh, it was my dream. But again, um, we, we don't lose no hope. We're going to continue chasing that dream and um, and it continue on the 26th of March. I mean, April, sorry. 26th of April. April. I was going to say, if you already fought 26th of March, um, I don't want to cover it too much, but obviously it is kind of qu quite a big talking point in that, that fight. Um, have you watched it back? Like, have you watched back to kind of see where things didn't go right for you? Um, it, it, w it wasn't to do with. The, I mean, the fight was uh, he, like he was, he was just a better man, honestly. Um, his, you know, his level, his IQ, played his part on the fight. Um, he was just a, also a very bigger, bigger puncher. Um, I guess he knew how to hydrate himself. He came into the fight at 58, 58 and a half. I was fifty four point six. So big difference. I mean. He knew, you know, he knew how to rehydrate himself. He had all that experience, and he was waiting for that moment for 20 years. And um, in the boxing ring itself, he had a very great IQ. Everything that I was trying to, he was a step ahead. And um, and I, I I learned from that how he done that. So I watched it, yes, and uh, we're working on those things that he did against me. We're working on to do that on the 26th of April. And obviously, I and us guys know your character and know what you're like. Um, very gracious the way you've taken a defeat. You see a lot of fighters in a big fight who the second something goes wrong, they might blame the camp, they might blame something in their personal life, and they might. You're very gracious in just saying, "Look, he was a better man," and that's fine. Like, you're allowed to. You're allowed to lose some fights. It's, it's not against the law. No, I mean, like I said, um, uh, the fights against Edge, I didn't believe I lost, and uh, you know, <laughs> because uh, everyone, you, know, you had to. Look, everyone had to look from their own way. But this fight, yeah, the better man won, and uh, you have to be, you know, truth. If, if the guy is better than he's better than you, and uh, he was he was better than me, and it's not that we're not going to get better. We are going to get better, and we're going to come back for him if he wants it. Yeah, yeah. yeah mate, I can see that down the line. You two running it back. Um, so in terms of April the twenty sixth, and what you want to show, and what sort of Casey we might see, is it just going to be kind of a little bit more refined? Like you don't look at the Jackson Chalk fight and think I need to change my style and myself completely. Just perhaps tweak a couple of small things. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a little, uh, f a few tweaks. Uh, it's going to be fixing up. Um, that's about it. Yeah, mainly focused. We're going to be a lot more focused. I mean, we were focused in the last fight as well, but it's just a level. But I think, yeah, a little a few tweaks to, 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 to his style. Uh, but yeah, you're going to see a very um, uh, showbow of, of me. Yeah. So I'm going to take his confidence away. That's what I have to do. And I believe I can, especially after a fight coming off from Jackson Choke. I believe I'm going to put a, 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 sh a great show skill to show I'm a, I'm a world title. You know, I'm a world title challenger, or world title potential champion, you know. Yeah. In Ryan Frag, you've got a fighter who, his defeats have come against decent fighters, um, Sonny Edwards, um, Ryan Burnett, yes, yeah, so he's lost to some real top guys. Um, so you're expecting, yes, a fight that you believe you should win. Um, you're expecting a guy who's going to make you think about a few things, isn't it? Well, I, I, look, I'm not going to take nothing away from Ryan Frag. He's a, like I said, he's another uh, experienced fighter, but... Um, I'm gonna, it's going to be my night, 26th of April, and uh, I just have to show that I'm above his level. And uh, you know, everyone that defeats him has a, a, a chance to become world champion. And I want to be, the same, you know, now, now another example of, of that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, your journey has been wicked. We've been 
doing these interviews from right from the start. Um, the whole thing with Ijaz Ahmed, and then obviously the defeat to Jackson Chalk, the wins in the middle, that stoppage in the second round. Um, there's been so many wicked moments. When you're to get your hands on that world title, I think there needs to be a Netflix documentary. Your story has been, I mean, even to get to boxing, um, do you ever take time to sit back and kind of look at the whole journey so far, or is that going to be something that you can do when you've retired? Oh, I mean, uh, I, 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 I mean, I always, you know, um, through my interviews, I get asked about my journey, so it's a reminder, which is good. But I've got, I've got a BAFTA that is uh, uh, um, send a, 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 docu- a journalist to do a documentation from even my last time they were documenting it, but they they said they show extra support saying that we want to continue him to get to the world title again. So they continue to do that co- documentary. They're very interested in the story of mine. You know, I, I came in, in this country about ages six, seven, it was, I think, uh, behind the lorry and, uh, you know, a land of opportunity in my eyes and my family's been together. We've been all doing well. And, um, you know, when you are a kid coming in behind the lorry, get an opportunity to become world champion. So we're going to carry on walking on. And I think it'd be a great a documentary when it does come out. Yeah. Yeah, mate, can't wait. And you're right, when you say land of opportunity, you're someone who's made the most of their opportunity. So massive respect on, on that front. Um, obviously, April 26th is the job you've got to do, but you kind of want to plan for the future too. Who have you got your eyes on? Talk to me, because I know what you're like. I know there'll be someone sitting there. Who have you got your eyes on at the moment in terms of fights you look at and go, stylistically, that's a really good fight. Even someone that you're kind of like, do you know what, I'm not too keen on you. I need to get you out of there. Like, who is, who's sitting there at the moment? Um, you know, I mean, like I said, before this fight was scheduled, I had my eyes on Tassif Khan, Ryan uh, Farag, uh, Master Burfoy, but look, they all parted ways and well, they're all in a different route. Master's going for a world title. Tassif Khan said he's focusing on world title shot. Sure. Um, so Ryan Farag is the only one right now. we are got to focus on him. And then, if anything, again, um, you know, there's, there's great talents here. But my, uh, I would love to share the ring with Charlie, with Sonny, with these guys. I know him for years, great, great human being and great talent. Uh, I think, you know, it would be a great fight. Yeah. Obviously, Charlie making his comeback fight next week at um, York Hall. Again, when we talk about interviews we've done early doors, you mentioned kind of wanting to fight um, the Edwards boys. And I believe you against one of them is one of the biggest fights around your weight you can make in, in the country, right? Yeah, 100%. I think, like I said, uh, Star makes fight. And I think uh, the names as well. Charlie's a, a hell of a champion, former world champion, WBC, and so is Sonny, IBA for, former world champion. Um, and I, do I believe they're going to become world champion again? Yes. But um, do I want to share the ring with them? Yes, 100%. So who wouldn't? And uh, I would like to, you know, we spotted them uh, way back and uh, we'd love to share the ring. Yeah. Mate, superb. Definitely fights that I think we'd all love to see. Um, just quickly, because you were talking about it in there off camera, um, you were sparring with Galawi Afai. And you were saying it was good. Mate, I wish I was there to watch that from the way you were talking about it. Um, obviously, you would have sparred loads of guys uh, kind of in and around your weights. But talk to me about your spa with, with Galau and Sheffield. It was a great opportunity. Um, you know, honestly, it was, uh, it was a great opportunity for him giving us a chance to come there. Uh, not once, but twice. Um, you know, we give, I think, his uh, last sparring for his, uh, for, for his last... Uh, we give his last sparring for the camp before he flew to Vegas. But again, a great talent he is. Uh, for him to be a world champion, 100% he's going to be a world champion. He's uh, sparring, you know, it, it's, it's all learning. Being uh, with him is just it's so much learning. And um, he's a world level fighter. I mean, you, you cannot lose your focus for a second with him. You lose a focus, second, you're going to catch it, it's going to hurt you. So he's that good, honestly. When I'm saying he's good, he's very good. He's the best. You know, is he the best ever person that I've sparred? Totally the best. Um, I've sparred and you need with someone like him you could not lose with one second focus. You have to be it's, it's like a fight, you have to be full on focus. You cannot you make you know, make a mistake. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate them having me. But yeah, it was it was it inspiring for everyone to watch? Hundred percent. I think um, yeah, it was inspiring people I had to pay to watch, I think it was it was that good sparring and you know, great display of skills to both of us. So yeah. Message to Sheffield Institute, release the footage so we can have a little watch. Um, Case, thank you very much. And we look forward to April the 26th. You've got kind of a final message to people who are coming or people who will be watching. Um, I know obviously you've got a lot of supporters who managed to tune in from Afghanistan as well from for, for last time. So just kind of a message to, to your fans. Yeah, I want to thank everyone that's been supporting me and I uh, appreciate you all. And I know all of you lot waiting for tickets. Uh, once we get the tickets out there, this coach will be there taking everyone to Liverpool. Uh, so yeah, and um, tune in to the fight, 
on the 26th of April, people that are watching from abroad or from, from uh, uh, television or uh, YouTube live stream, tune in. Me versus Ryan Frog is going to be a hell of a fire for Commonwealth gold medal. We're looking to make history by becoming, again, the first ever Afghan to, to win the Commonwealth belt. It's all about making history and um, that's what we're all about. We take risks. Come on. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.